Hello, how are you? I am playing with Synapse Audio's new obsession. And one thing that's really cool. Here, change. That's because the reverb, I think for the first time, I can't think of somewhere else where this has happened, has shimmer built into it. So we're gonna bring it back. Isn't that nice? Anyway, hello, my name is John Skippy Limkul. Nice to see you, welcome. I should point at the camera, right? Instead of the overhead view. Hey, so this is a new synthesizer from Synapse Audio. It is called Obsession. It is an Oberheim clone. It's two oscillators. It can be uh, mono, eight voice, or 16 voice polyphonic. The unique features, if we were to do just a short sheet, like what's unique about this? is that there is an edit parameter for each of the voices of polyphony that can be set to different offsets. And you can right click and say randomize and it will randomize all of these parameters for all of these voices right there. So you can get kind of a vintagey vibe just because each oscillator, each voice is going to be different from that that came before it. Just enough that it doesn't sound static and I can show you examples of what static sounds like in a minute when you just call up an init patch and there's no controls. This is a plugin you can get from the Synapse Audio website right here, synapse-audio.com. And Obsession is there, it's $99. I paid for this. This is not a free video. This is my chance to say my opinion. It also means I can promote what I have to sell at my websites. I have 80 different libraries for all sorts of different synthesizers that are available. I have Unify, which has a lot of people really excited. Cloud City is a library we just released, which has over 3,000 samples in the library, uh, tons of patches, MIDI files, drum kits, world percussion, chill, hip hop, urban, dance, all sorts of genres in it. It's Make sure you check it out if you want. Um, now this library in particular, is playing from inside of Unify. This patch doesn't exist in the library. This is one I made. So is this patch. All these other patches, this bass. There is no big deep sub bass in the library, so I made one. as well as really cool BPM stuff. It's just like using Obsession and samples and all sorts of stuff from Unify. Right? So these patches are all free. You have to own Unify. You have to own Obsession. You have to use the VST version of Obsession inside of Unify. That means when you go to the plugin page and you go down to Obsession, it has to say VST right here. For these plugins, for these libraries that I'm creating to work, you have to use the VST version of the plugin. And what this is, this is a unified library. So you can play, it is so fun to start with one. Three obsessions playing simultaneously. And look at my CPU, because each layer is on its own core of my computer. Turn it down. We can go to Cloud City. Let's get a cool drum. Let's say we want to add this one, and let's add something from Chaos. You 
can go nuts. It's 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 too too much fun. So if you own Obsession and you own Unify, this library, the link is in the description. It's also on the PluginGuru.com Unify webpage. You can download these libraries; it will be free. I'm going to be doing this unified concept with other synthesizers because once it's in Unify as patches, you can just easily add them. Let's add three. I've added four patches like that. So building and constructing and being creative. On top of this, the other thing that's nuts is that we have real-time control to all the parameters in every one of these Obsession plugins. So when we go over here to Obsession, we actually have access to more parameters inside of Obsession than you have from Obsession. Because right here is your list of real-time controls that you have in Obsession. All sorts of things are available in real-time control of these knobs. So I have like mixer knobs set up where you can do multi-breakpoint, all sorts of crazy things. So if you have Obsession and you have Unify, you're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna call up Obsession from my list of plugins. Let's go Synapse Audio Obsession. And we're gonna have Unify. I'm gonna call Unify back in a little bit because uh, I have comparisons with a couple, there's three other Oberheim synths that I have access to right now. We can compare all three doing different types of sounds. So I'll show you that. Let me just give you a tour. It's not your, your standard typical interface. It's got some unique quirks to it, which um, are not my favorite, I'll be honest. Uh, there's no mixer page. So <laughs> there's nowhere to see where the volume of noise oscillator two and oscillator one are at. Here's your mixer for turning them on and off. You'll notice that oscillator two has a 50% half dim. That's how you can get it to be soft or loud. <laughs> That's basically it. Now, if you want to do real-time control, you can go to the second page here. You only have six modulation sources. So you could go here and say constant, and then say uh, right here is like noise volume and. That's your mixer, but you just blew one of your six modulation slots. So that's a little funky to me, but you know, it's, it's like, it, you know, if you're dealing with an older synthesizer, they have their quirks. So you have the ability to choose single dual split, eight or 16 voices, portamento, there's a unison mode, there's oscillator two do tune here, oscillator two X mod. If you want to hear the effects, I've had times when I was working with this, where I had all sorts of things on the effect page, which is, by clicking right here or clicking right here, you toggle between the two pages. If this light is off, no matter what settings you have here on the effects, they don't work. Just be aware, it's right here. Uh, global tuning, uh, spread does a, let's do this, let's init the patch so you can hear. Spread does a left, right, ping pong. Now, if we go over here and we right click and say initialize the voice adjustments, this is what makes it into the Oberheim-esque um, because those older synthesizers, they had separate voicing cards for each voice of polyphony. You try to calibrate them the best you could so that they would sound the same, but they never did. They had weird things that were different. One would have, you know, certain frequency bumps and also it's just crazy stuff back in the day. Well, without any randomization, Right click, say randomize all the parameters. And it's not this static, static, static thing. That's because each of these voices can have these parameters offset to make each voice unique. So you have the edit parameters here. You also have the on and off. If you turn all these off, this makes it monophonic. There is no mono legato. It's Whatever note you play is now the new note of polyphony. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Let's init this again because I don't want to have it all. If you click this off, so there's no lights lit. Now you can see the parameters. If you want to have oscillator two, 
You have your choices of waveforms. Let's see, turn this off. You have both a triangle, square, with pulse width, and saw. And you can have saw and you can have pulse together. So it's a really nice sounding synth in that regard. Uh, the filter, you've got a couple different filter options. They're a little bit more linear on the envelopes for the filters. It snaps and goes away. You'll hear when we do the comparison with the other Oberheim synths difference. This one, that's probably the biggest difference between this and the other synthesizers that are Oberheim clones is, and I'm not sure which, I don't have an Oberheim here to compare with. So this might be more accurate. I'm not sure. We do have frequency pitch. Combined with sync and os mod, you can get some cool synthy type of a sounds from that. The uh, modulation up here is kind of unique in that you have pitch. Notice that the rate isn't clock based for any of these. It is when you go to the steps. And now it could say half. I have to change this page and now enter values. If it's down the middle, it's not going to change. Right? So there's no arpeggiator built into Obsession. That's one of the other big differences between this and the Arturia. Now they use this for some cool effects. If you go to the brass, check this out. Uh, where is like. Uh, gold French. So part of the Oberheim vibe is this really warm brassy tone. Which this does very nicely. And here it has this kind of spit in the attack. That is because it is using this step and it is set to a very, very fine 128 steps, played fast. Double tonguing. I personally like this one. This is the, uh, I need to empty the spit out of my horn. If you've ever played trumpet, you know that. So that's a cool thing that this does beyond being a retro synth clone. This step is really unique and it's very cool. You can also have it. Affecting other parameters at the same time. There's two LFOs. You could have one that's doing just a nice pitch on Well, it's also LFO1 is doing all the weird spit stuff. So that's pretty cool. If your effect light is on, notice you have a delay. It doesn't have a ping pong. That's one thing that's uh, sadly missed. I wish I had a ping pong delay. You have a width, so it could be mono or wide. Low pass, high cut. And it's recursive, which means it's killing high frequency with each tap, which is very nice. Um, the reverb is very unique. Let's get a little bit more normal. Let's get. <laughs> Let 
let me get this to beat. Let's see if I go like shift. Do anything. So it has the shimmer effect, which if you combine that with time without regeneration. It's like one octave, it's usually regenerate. Think over here and it's very, very nice. So I'm, I'm impressed with this feature set. I still don't know why they don't have an oscillator mixer section. You know, they've got these sliders here for pitch bin and modulation, but they don't for the volume of the oscillators. Let me play through some patches. I have gone through and made favorites, so I hit the little favorite right here and I can show you. These are just straight out of the factory voicing. Drum thing. Let's go over here add some sequence to this. Octaves. So it's fun to be able to be this fast with your creative juices. So other patches, here's some cool pads. There's your shimmer. Now I have other controls here that I've set up. You can add noise. And these are assigned to all 420 patches. So you can make them different, unique. Does that nice patty vibe real well? Sequences. One suggestion is make sure go over here, replace from layer preset, go to master, check this out. This gives it this presence, it's really nice. Also protects it from going above zero dB. It's flexible in the analog domain for vintagey things to new things. 
Uh, it's really nice in that regards. Now let's go to the comparison libraries that I did. Let's just listen to the, some different qualities. Let me point out, this is loading up four synthesizers. Obsession, OBXD. This is the Arturia OBXAV. And then Oberhausen. And I have a little sequence we can play so you can. I didn't go there there, but kind of. That's where that voice variation is really handy. Stuff too. So that's one comparison to us like a saw pad. With envelopes. I didn't program these precisely. Just to get the vibe of... Oberhausen is far more like... Mid-bassy... They're all nice. Play them all together and it's really nice. Right? <laughs> uh, snappy envelopes, let's go there. So that would be sharp filter. This is where you're gonna really gonna hear that exponential shape. And I think I have a separate sequence I can play here. That's different. I couldn't get really bright with the Arturias. Same with the Oberhausen. This almost has too much brightness. You could add delays and choruses to them. And so I hope that gives you a little bit of a comparison. I don't know which one is the winner. They're, to me, synthesizers are like kids. How do you pick which is your favorite kid? You know, this one likes to do this. You know, with synthesizers in the analog world, there's definitely strengths and weaknesses. With software, it's a little harder to define. But they do have different personalities and different colors. Um, I would suggest just downloading the demos and trying it out, seeing which one, the interface, the controllability, um, which one works the best for you. That's the one to go for. It's not so much about uh, which one's the best because it's all subjective, right? But this is the first library that we have done to uh, use Unify, which is really cool. So if you do have Unify and you own Obsession, Make sure you grab this because it's very fun to just be able to add. And let's turn it down. If you hold down option, you can turn down all the volumes at once. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.